Hello there everyone, I'm a Mapteau, and I shall guide you through our journey of discovering the wildlife in the Susquehanna River Basin, where we reside! Greetings, my name is Seiya Kanzaki. The four animals we are going to introduce are the Blue Jay, the Snowshoe Hare, the Northern Shoveler, and the well-known Bobcat. The Blue Jay is a well-known bird. It is a small bird that inhabits our area, the Susquehanna. Scientists are said to believe this is one of the smartest birds. The blue jay is only about 11 to 12 inches in size. They live in the woodland of the Susquehanna and eat the forest pests that destroy our forests like the gypsy moth and the tent moth. The snowshoe hare is a small white hare with long feet that can make it very agile in snow. That's how it's got its name after all. Often confused with the cottontail rabbit. It is not related. This animal is known for its speed and can react quickly to an attack. If threatened, it can run up to 30 miles per hour and jump up to 10 feet. The snowshoe hare lives in deciduous forests. The next animal we are going to introduce to you is this northern shoveler. The northern shoveler is a duck that has a beak similar to a platypus. Its mature length is about 17 to 22 inches long and weigh about 1 to 5 pounds. This duck's popular nickname is the spoonbill. Their diet contains of bugs flies, dragonflies, beetles, etc. In the winter, they migrate to the south southern U.S. and parts of Central America. The last animal I will be talking about is the well-known bobcat. These animals are shy and sly. They are an honor to come in contact with. It is Pennsylvania's only known feline predator. It is very small for the fierce fighter it really is. They are only about 36 inches long, matured, and only weigh about 15 to 20 pounds. These felines have very keen eyesight and hearing. However, they are said to be colorblind. These felines live in rocky areas or in the woodlands around the Susquehanna River Boston. Those are the four animals we are going to we have introduced to you today. My name is Satal Rion. Thank you so much for listening. Now we are going to introduce some of the plant life that could be found here. Please pay attention for just a little longer, please. Thank you so much. The three plants I will tell you a little a bit about are oak trees, pine trees, and the well-known poison ivy. The first plant I'm going to tell you about is the well-known oak tree. They are mainly found in the forests of the Susquehanna River watershed. These trees can reach great heights, and the acorns of these trees feed many of the animals that inhabit the forest, like the squirrels. The second plant I'm going to describe is the almighty pine tree. This is an evergreen tree, which means it will never lose its leaves, even though its leaves are actually spike pine-like things. <laughs> anyway. Many types of pines give off many types of seeds, but the kind around here usually drop pine cones, which is the most popular. Last, but certainly not least, is poison ivy. Many of you I know must have come in contact with this plant at some point. Many of you have probably heard of the saying, leaves of three let them be, or if you come in contact with this plant sap, it can give you a hard to get rid of itchy rash. If you digest it, it can be poisonous. However, it is sometimes seen being eaten by other animals, so many believe it is just poisonous to humans. We as humans have the best of luck, huh? 